What's up everyone, it's Nick from Splice. And in today's video, we're gonna explore triplets as well as other types of metric modulation, including quintuplets and septuplets. If you're unfamiliar with a triplet, that just simply means there's three notes per beat. So here I have a hip hop beat and there are some triplets in the hi-hat pattern. Now, even though your beats mainly in what we would call duple or everything's divided in two, you can throw in a triplet every now and then. Let's take a listen. So yeah, the triplet is on beat four. We're at uh, 175 BPM, and the beat four is kind of just like this nice syncopated beat. Let's hear the beat without triplets. You can use Shift M to mute notes in Studio One. So the triplet gives a nice forward motion. To get triplet grid in most DAWs, you're gonna either go right click in the piano roll to activate the grid, say in Ableton, or go to the menu, the snap menu in Fruity Loops. In uh, Studio One, we have this quantize menu, and anything that stands with a T stands for triplet. And let's just look at eighth note grid right now. So you can see in eighth note grid, every beat is divided into two steps. One eighth triplet is where we divide each beat into three steps or three equal parts. So 16th note triplet, 16th T is six notes, and that can be like a nice roll. Let's hear how that would sound. You can also do these kind of what's like uh, called a drag by putting in a 16th note triplet in the middle of the triplet. So it sounds like this. Or like a, like a roll, a five stroke roll. And this is kind of like more of a, a drumming rudiment. Cool, so that's an example of where we're using triplets like interspersed throughout the beat. And now I kind of want to show you, uh, this is a four on the floor house, uh, house song, uh, but the triplets are actually the base of everything. So let's take a listen to this. This is a new project. So yeah, as you can hear, the entire beat is based around the triplet subdivision. Now, even though we're in triplets, we're still in regular common time, 4-4 four, four time. And let's just take a listen at the start of this beat. So we still have this kind of four on the floor uh, pattern. There are actually no divisions of triplets. This is just outlining these strong beats. The beats we're then gonna divide into triplets. So this shaker pattern is from Splice. And let's take a listen to that soloed. Now, uh, the grid's still in four, so I'm gonna switch the grid here to eighth note triplet, and now we can see these divisions kind of, it does outline a triplet. The trains do kind of fall on that pattern. I do have a little automation uh, filter opening up. To find these kind of results, I like searching triplet in splice, and a lot of the loops will have triplet in the file name uh, if they are kind of based in that three setting. The other thing that has a triplet feel is this uh, medicine uh, loop. Let's hear it without the LFO tool. So LFO tool uh, takes the volume uh, and can do filtering, but right now it's just doing the volume and it's kind of ramping it uh, according to this envelope. This is without LFO tool. And what you're going to see is a lot of the plugins and any time base like arpeggiator or sequencer will also have the T for triplet. So let's just take a look at that and listen to it without the triplets. I'm going to turn LFO tool back on, but with eighth notes, straight eighth notes, and see how that feels. It could be cool, but it is fighting that shaker triplet. Versus if I go to the eighth note triplet, which will be a little slower, so I'm just gonna go right there to the left. Or even quarter note triplet, so that's. 
And for the bass, if you're in triplet grade, it's pretty simple. This pattern is, is literally just the second and third note. Uh, it's nice to have the bass talk to the kick and not maybe be with the kick all the time. So that's a uh, kick. The kick's on beat one and then the bass is on partials two and three. That's cool. The When you have a triplet and you space it like every other eighth note triplet, that becomes a quarter note triplet. That rhythm also sounds nice. Let's just hear how that would sound if I just kind of carry that a little further. So now this is a quarter note triplet, every other eighth note triplet. Yeah, so that's how you can use triplets uh, throughout the entire beat and base your entire pattern off of the triplet feeling. Cool, so now let's take a look at the other uh, tuplets. So a tuplet is just anything that's kind of like divide, divided in odd numbers. So we're really used to hearing patterns divided into twos and fours. Now, if we just talked about threes, which are triplets, but there are also other tuplets, quintuplets, which is every beat is divided into five notes. Uh, I really love Studio One because they have uh, these odd tuplet grids where I can actually divide each beat into five even spaces. Um, I feel like other DAWs you have to use workarounds with like scaling five notes and shrinking them down. Uh, but Studio One has a great grid for that. So let's take a listen to this pattern imagined in quintuplets. And to get into quintuplets again, in Studio One, it's really easy. You just need to go to the 1 16th uh, and that's five over four grid. So that means each beat now you can see has five even divisions. Take a listen at how do we divide this. Uh, the hi-hat pattern, uh, when you have five or seven and nine, 11, so on and so forth, try to break it down into threes and twos. It's kind of the most musical way. So this is actually a combination of two plus three, and that's the five uh, for the beat, but that's like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And by accenting twos and threes, it's a little easier to feel the five-lit, and it's a little more musical. Now for seven septuplets, uh, again, we go to the grid and then what we're actually gonna do is the uh, one 30 second seven eight. So that will divide each beat into seven uh, even beats. And this is one, two, one, two, one, two, three is the hi-hat uh, velocity there. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. And that's the seven pattern. And by doing that, uh, it still gives us maintain a groove. Cool, so that was a brief overview of how you can use triplets in uh, like a hip hop beat, how you can base triplets out of an entire like house beat, as well as looking at quintuplets and septuplets, which are types of what we call metric modulation, where we have five notes in one beat or even seven notes in one beat. Uh, stay tuned for more music theory videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Until next time.